Hi, so in this fifth beginner's session, we're going to focus on the pelvis, okay, and the lower body positioning. So finding a neutral spine again in all positions and making sure the pelvis is in good alignment. And that's important because when your pelvis is in the right position, then all the muscles that run up your spine will be happy, the spine will be in its optimal position and it will be less stress through each part of your spine. So ultimately lead to less kind of low back pain, prevent injuries in general. So let's start in our easiest position to find neutral on our back again. So we're going to lay down on your back, okay? And we've done this one before, but we're going to have a little review here. Feet and knees about hip distance apart. Find that neutral spine. So to do that, we're going to do a couple of pelvic tilts. So you're going to imagine, okay, that you've got a marble on your belly button. I want you to roll that marble down towards your pubic bone as you inhale feeling everything relax, and as you exhale, gently roll the marble up towards the belly button. So you imprint, we gently imprint the back. What we're not doing is really tucking under and lifting the glutes. We're breathing. As we breathe out, think about lifting the pelvic floor, drawing the belly button in to get that flattening out. And again, inhale, the marble rolls down towards the floor. Exhale. And again, one more time. Inhale. Exhale. Gently imprint the back. Now, find that neutral position when the marble wouldn't roll anywhere. So the marble would stay nice and level. Shoulders are relaxed. Chin is gently tucked. If you need a little bit of support for your head, you can always pop a little block or a rolled up towel there. Relax your arms at your sides for me and just make sure you don't lose this position. So we've got a little bit of engagement through the tummy. Remember, think about drawing the belly button down. Think about tightening between the hip bones and gently lifting the pelvic floor, okay? Now from here, we're going to just lift the right foot just off the floor. So just gently lift the right foot just off and then lower and see how that feels and then swap. And if you're not aware of what's happening at your pelvis, okay, and most, most of us aren't, put your hands on your hip bones. We don't want the hips to move at all. So we're going to breathe in to prepare. Breathe out, find the tension. Add the little hover of the foot. Don't let the pelvis drop. And then lower. And swap, breathe. Inhale down. Exhale, inhale, no wobble, no tilt of the pelvis. So we want to really focus on stability through the pelvis so the back doesn't move, just that little lift of your foot. Good, now if you are able to slide your leg out with your foot on the floor, feel free to do that, okay? If you've not got socks on, okay, and this is easier to slide when you've got socks on, but just imagine that sliding sensation. So breathe in. You can either slide on your heel or just hover the foot and then lengthen out without any movement again. Bring it back. Lower. Again, as you swap, don't let the pelvis tilt. Inhale, hover. Exhale. Nice and controlled. Don't go too far. Don't feel like your pelvis drops. Bring it back. Now let's think about the other foot. Let's have minimal weight through the other foot. So it's the core that has to support you. Rather than your, the pressure through the floor. So imagine there's eggshells underneath your feet. So as you swap, you don't crush them. You keep that tension there. Good, bring it back. Now if that feels okay and you want to progress this, let's go to what we call a tabletop position with one foot at a time. So breathe in, breathe out. Don't imprint your back. Bring the leg up here, 90 degrees, knee at 90, hip at 90. Inhale, lower. As you swap, no tilt of the pelvis. Good, inhale. And again, 
that really gentle controlled swap. Imagine you've got a drink resting here between your hip bones and you don't want to spill a drop. Imagine it's a drink you really like, a gin and tonic, maybe a Prosecco. Good. Let's try one more. And release. So that's one of the exercises that looks easy, but is actually quite hard. And especially if you're new to Pilates or you've suffered with some low back problems, or you've recently had surgery or a baby, you want to master that, master that pelvic stability before you move on to working with both feet off the floor, okay? It's not the most exciting of exercises, but it is the foundation to lots of the work we do in Pilates. So try and get that before you move on. And we are going to progress on today, but please don't feel you have to. You can go back and do these beginners over and over till you feel you understand and your body is responding. Okay, now let's bring the knees and feet together. Maintain neutral again. Don't spill your drink. We're going to let one knee roll out to the side. So this is called a knee fallout. I've let my knee go out to the side. My other knee doesn't move, okay? My pelvis doesn't drop. I don't want to wobble over. And then I draw it back in. And then I swap. And again, this is about finding the muscles that hold the pelvis nice and stable. Bring it back. Draw that tummy in. Don't feel you have to flatten your back into the floor, remember. This is just holding it neutral. Back of the ribs are down. You can have your hands on your hip bones or at your sides. And this is nice for stretching out the pelvic floor and working a little bit of mobility in the inner thigh as well. But that isn't the focus. The focus is stable pelvis. Good, let's try two more. This is about quality over quantity. So do them well. Don't feel you have to do hundreds of these. Bring it back. Eight to 10 of each exercise is more than enough. So do them well and get quality out of them and get really good response. Okay, now bring your feet back to hip distance. Let's go into our bridge as a little release. So breathe in. This time we are gonna imprint, lift the pelvic floor gently, imprint your back, start to peel off. Now squeeze your buttocks, peel your spine off, vertebra by vertebra, and just press those hips up, open them out, and then bring them down. Smooth. Make sure you go all the way back to neutral. So let's let the back release, let the pelvic floor relax, breathe into the pelvic floor. Breathe out. Up we come. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Hold it. Breathe in. And exhale down. Good. Now, when you feel you've got that good pelvic stability with one leg off the floor, you're going to progress to two. And you may be ready for that. So I'm going to show you and you can do this or come back to this at another point. When we're working with both feet off, we want that very gentle imprint. Remember, it isn't jam into the floor and tuck your pelvis. It comes from here. It comes from the ribs flattening and the belly button coming in. It's just a great way to stabilize and protect the spine. So this is what we do. We breathe in. We bring the right leg to tabletop. As we exhale, we find that imprint. We maintain that imprint and we add the second leg. And this is our tabletop position. And this is where we start a lot of our exercises. Now this may be enough for you to be holding your back down and to be holding the belly in, okay? And still being able to breathe might be where you need to start. And then you'll release, good. Try that again, breathe in, breathe out. Imprint and lift, hold it, hold it, 90 degrees, knees over hips. Don't let your back do this, arch away. Don't let your tummy dome. That means you need a break. Lower. Try that again, breathe in. As you exhale, imprint, tight, lift, hold. Take a breath in, but don't release your tummy. Every time you exhale, tighten it up. Inhale. 
Good, now lower. And release. Now we progress on from there. We're going to do one more progression. And again, if you recently had surgery, cesarean, hysterectomy, any abdominal surgery or anything that means that you're really weak through your back, like spinal surgery, do not work with both legs off the floor till you know you're ready and you've mastered the pelvic stability. Now we're going to do some toe taps. So it's the same thing. Coming into tabletop, maintaining this imprint, tummy tight, but tapping alternate toes to the floor. Nothing else moves. Breathe. Breathe. Find your imprint, add the second leg. Now, this is what we do. We go tap the floor and then we inhale to return. Exhale. Inhale. I'm keeping that back down. I'm pulling my belly in. Good. And in. Exhale. And in. Gentle point of the toes. And in. Nice long neck. And in. If you find your back starts to arch, you need to take your break. Four. If you can't hold your belly in, you take your break. Three. Good work. Let's do two more. Last one. And release. Now one foot down at a time. And just let that back relax. Let's hug the knees in and give them a little circle round. So just give the, the low back and the glutes a little bit of a stretch. Well done. Now, pelvic alignment and lower body alignment are important in all positions, okay? So let's try lining ourselves up on our side. So we're going to turn ourselves over and lay in a nice straight line on the floor. So stack up your legs. Okay, now you can have your head resting on your arm or you can just gently prop yourself up a little bit, okay? Now, when I talk about your hip alignment on your side, I want you to imagine there's a pole coming straight down through both the same point in both hips. So the hips stay stacked. You almost think about lifting the ribs or lifting the waist a little bit away from the floor. If I just relax, my hip just lifts. So I want you to think about lengthening the whole time through this top leg. Now we need to engage the core here because we're balancing and you can use your fingertips in front if you need to. So gentle cup taking of the hands. If you're feeling stable, you can pop your hand on your side. So you decide. Now your ankle, your knee, your hip, your shoulder and your ear should be in a straight line. So my feet shouldn't be here. Okay, my head shouldn't be forwards. We want everything in line. We're going to draw the tummy in. We're going to breathe in. Gently point your top foot and as you exhale, just lift it up to hip height without the hip lifting towards your hand or your ribs. Then flex your foot and push back down. Now think about leading from the heel. So point almost to heel lift, straight up, flex, lower. Think about length, think about lifting the waist. There's a lot to think about in Pilates. It takes time. It's about body awareness using the right muscles at the right time and really focusing on the core throughout. In, out, in, out, inhale. And you can, if you have your hands here, as you exhale, you should really feel there's some tightening through the tummy. Let's make the sound or a shh as you exhale and you'll get those core muscles working a bit harder. Now hold the leg up, take it to about hip height. Again, don't let that hip lift, keep them stacked. Gently point your foot, give me some little hip circles. Harder on the balance, but lovely for the hips. And these muscles here, the side of your buttocks often need a little bit of strengthening. Round we go. Again, here's your option with your hands. Reverse the circle, eight, seven, six, Five, four, three, two, one, and release. And then take this knee over and just give it a little stretch. So any work that we do on the side, okay, the pelvis wants to be nice and level. The hips need to be stacked and the core is engaged. Now let's just do this on the other side so we're nice and even. Okay. 
So making sure whatever position you're in, your pelvis is neutral. There's good alignment through your body. Okay, if you put your hand in the back, there should be just that nice, normal lumbar curve there. You don't want your legs to be forward so your low back is flexed, if that makes sense. Okay, now you can prop up your head or relax it down. Remember, lengthen this leg down. Think about lifting the waist, drawing the belly button in. Inhale, point your foot. Exhale, lift to about hip height. Let's think about lifting the heel. So almost turn the toe down a little. Go down and lift. Inhale, exhale. In. Now let's add the flex of the foot this time. So we're going to lift. Pull up with your toes, little calf stretch, push down, point, lift, flex, lower, inhale, exhale, inhale, good, point, squeeze from that heel, start to work the side of your buttock and keep feeling for that tension in the tummy. What we don't want to do is to hold the breath when things get difficult in Pilates. Now let's hold this one up, soft point of the foot, don't point too hard because you'll get cramped and just draw your circles. Little circles, really controlled movement, we're looking for always control. Good, about the size of a football and back the other way for eight, seven, six, Five, four, three, two, one, and release. Well done. And we do lots of side work because we often need a lot of strengthening through the sides of our bodies. It's a part that we often neglect, but it can be really beneficial. Well done. Okay, we're going to come on to all fours. So this is a nice position, we've done some of this before, but let's just make the focus on the lower body. So knees under hips, hands under shoulders. Now we're going to do a couple of those pelvic tilts to find neutral, just like we did on our back. So look between your hands and focus on the lower half from about the waist, okay, to the tailbone. And then Start with your tailbone up, so think about your tail feathers. Imagine you had them on your back, lift them. Don't move your upper back or neck. Breathe in, let your pelvic floor relax. Now as you breathe out, start by drawing up into the pelvic floor. So think about drawing the sit bones together and then lift the pubic bone up, tuck your tailbone and just round that low back. So that's a sort of low back and pelvis tuck and then release. Good, breathe in, let's do that again, exhale, pelvic floor, draw up with your belly button, really tuck and then release, really stick your tushy in the air, and again one more time, this is nice to start with because this helps you find your two extremes of movement and then halfway between the two approximately is your neutral, it's useful to have a mirror to check, but you can feel for this little curve here. The sacrum bone, that bony triangle there, just above your buttocks, should be parallel to the ceiling, not pointing to the corner or the back of the room. So drop down. A pool of water should just sit in the small of your back if you poured it there. I want you to maintain that neutral position. And let's do some leg lifts. So same rules, no pelvic movement. No shifting of weight, breathe in, slide your right leg back, on your big toe, hold, bring it back in. Now as you change over, don't release your tummy, just breathe still. Exhale, tighten through the glute, inhale, watch the swap, it's easy to kind of shift too much. You've got to make your tummy and transfer the weight, make the work or do the work, I should say. Uh, imagine you've got a light on your belly button and it's shining on your mat, okay? That light shouldn't move, no matter which leg is moving or where you are in the movement. If this feels good and you're really stable, you can add your little lift, but watch out for back arching. So let's keep that neutral spine. 
lower, bring it back. Exhale, squeeze the buttock, inhale. Good, don't shift, you've got to really focus on the transfer. Watch that low back. Now the neck and the shoulders can get tired and you can end up like this. So push away from the floor, tuck your chin in, keep that belly button engaged. Good. Great for the wrists, great for the shoulders as well. This is a full body exercise. Let's try two more. Lengthen and lift. I want you to squeeze that buttock, don't move your back. And return. Last one. Lift, 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 squeeze. And release, well done. Good, now take your knees apart, bring your toes together slightly, go back into your shell stretch. Reach your arms out and just rest your head if you can. Take some deep breaths, in and out. And hopefully you can see that there's this common theme of finding a really good neutral position for your pelvis. So your back is in a good position and then we move. So we want strength and stability in a static position before we start to progress and add more to the exercise. And by moving your legs, you're having to work the core and the, the muscles around and inside harder. So you've got to take it step by step, do the basics, build the foundations, and then you will be ready to do more of the sexy exercises. Okay, the more challenging exercises, but without your foundations, things can fall apart a little bit further down the line. Okay, now I want to lastly with the lower body and the pelvis, look at the hardest position and that's standing. So we're going to transition to standing. Okay, so finishing off in standing, because standing is often the hardest because we don't have the feedback from the floor to use. So again, pop your hands on your hip bones and I'm going to show you from the side. We want to imagine the pelvis like a bowl of water, this circle of water, and we want to tilt forwards and back. So a great way to start is always with your pelvic tilts because then you get a feel for where you are in space. So we breathe in and we tilt the pelvis forwards. And as we exhale, we just imprint. Imagine you're on the floor, your backward imprint. What we're not moving is your upper and lower body. So we tilt forwards. Think about lifting up at the back here. And then exhale, think about lifting up at the front. Draw up with your pubic bone and your pelvic floor. Add your breathing, inhale. Exhale, inhale, exhale, good. Now, bring it to neutral, okay? So release a little so that the hips are level. So side to side here, they're level, okay? Don't be on, all on one side, weight even through the feet. There's a little curve in the low back. So you're lifting the tail a little, but we're not overarching the back, okay? So this is level at the front and the back you could always check in the mirror you've got a little curve here and then just watch your ribs don't push forwards just draw them back a little so they're over the hips so we've got this circle over the circle of the hips and then from here we're going to maintain this pelvic position okay whilst we do a little bit of foot sway or transfer of weight so maintain keep your core engaged Sway your weight forwards and back a little bit. Good. And again, sway that weight forwards. So we're coming forwards and see if you can have a lift here without moving your spine. And then lower. Again, let's forwards and lift. Up onto the toes. Keep your belly button drawn in. And lower. So this is good to wake up the core. One more tap. Breathe in. Breathe out and then center the weight. Good. Now I want to try one other thing in standing where it's really important to have a good pelvic position. And this is your little bow or hip hinge. Keep your feet under your hips, make sure you're in neutral. And I want you to just hinge your hips. So imagine I've got my fingertips on the crease of your hips and I'm just pushing on them. So you're pushing your bottom back and then squeeze back up. So I'm not bending my knees, they're slightly soft. 
and I'm not rounding the back, okay? Quite often what happens here is people do this. We don't want that, we want shoulder blades back and down and we go hinge. Imagine there's something behind you and you want to nudge it so your bottom moves backwards slightly. Squeeze back up through the glutes but don't come forwards. Arms at your side, let's do a little squeeze of the shoulder blades, try this. Keep that belly engaged, breathe in. Squeeze up. Watch your neck isn't forwards like this. Tuck your chin, look towards the end of your mat or the skirting board of your room, okay? Inhale, and this is a position we wanna get strong in, okay? Neutral spine, tummy tight. This is a position we need to go into to pick something up, okay? Or when we're, you know, having to hoover or do anything, it's often in this half lean position and this can be vulnerable. So I want to get strong here. You tighten that tummy, draw in, squeeze back up. Let's try one more, inhale. I want you to hold it here, shoulder blades back. You might feel a stretch of your hamstrings if they're a bit tight, one more breath. Then squeeze back up and release. Good, well done. Let's give the legs a little shake, okay? Give your shoulders a little roll. It's easy to build tension um, when we're trying new things in Pilates and often it's the shoulders that take the strain. So just release off any neck issues and shake it out. Now, well done. So that was our fifth session, focusing on the lower body and the pelvic alignment. Okay, we've got one more session where we're gonna put a lot of these things together. So we're going to focus on coordination of the upper and lower body. So we're going to be doing legs and arms together and more functional coordinated movement. Feel free to review any of the other sessions. Get in touch with me if you've got any questions or you're not sure about anything we've covered today or in any of our other sessions and I'll be really happy to help you. Okay, hope you enjoyed this. Just let me know how you found it. Thanks, take care.